And this is a story local two news has been covering all day, beginning with the initial threat at Alpine High School. And that's where we find local two's Casey Jones. We send it over to her for the latest from the high school. Casey? Well, Don, the details are limited in this investigation, but we do know that one female, 14 year old freshman, opened fire here at Alpine High before shooting herself. Now, that student did injure another female student before she did take her own life. Now, the sheriff's office and the police department say today's events shocked them because things like that just don't happen here. Never. It's not supposed to happen here. Tragedy strikes Alpine High. So happens that one of the deputies was right there by the, uh, the back door of, of the band hall and entered the building and uh, found the first uh, deceased victim in the uh, bathroom and recovered the gun. Officials evacuating the school and locking down the district after sheriff says a 14-year-old freshman opened fire at school, injuring one student before killing herself. That's what we just taught this class and Terling one, the, the video I used to teach this, the chances of it happen are slim. And that's what it's got us in shock is, you know, here in Alpine, you know, what's this all about? Resources spread thin as multiple threats popping up at the same time. Officials say this is unrelated to the high school shooting. But on top of it, you know, this guy calling in just to disrupt the services as we're actually engaged in this, uh, taxes to where we, we didn't have anybody extra to do anything. Multiple agencies stepping up to help. Thankful for all these other agencies that have helped us out today. Uh, it's a lot for a small community, uh, but everybody's responded very well to this incident. Authorities still investigating how and why this 14-year-old girl caused such chaos. Well, what goes through their mind? I mean, we just don't know. So we understand she's a very good student. There's no word yet on whether students at Alpine High will return to school tomorrow. However, we do know that there are still authorities on the scene right now coming in and out of the building. They're still investigating, trying to get a, an idea of what, what happened here and why it happened.